Alright guys, we are back. I've been to the bathroom in real life. I've rechecked all these houses, dealt with the milkman, all that jazz. This is probably my least favorite, like, color scheme and everything. The good news is I'm assuming everything is still customizable, and uh, I think we can make the biggest impression on it. This is the one by Egbert, right? And, uh, let's see here. <laughs> All that build up for nothing. Okay, so let me kind of show you what I want to showcase here. We'll come in and look at the map. This house is a no just because it's too close to Nook's Cranny, which is a horrible store name. This one, not horrible, but again, I'm, I'm just not sure about it. Uh, oh, I have not talked to Victoria yet. Okay. She might be out doing something, though. I've, I've not seen her. The thing is, down here, while I like the idea of living on the beach, like, that's a horrible strategy in life, you know? Like, that's, that's like below building the floodplain type of a thing. So, ideally, we could put the house, like, over here type of a thing, but I guess they're stationary in this game or something. So, I'm, I'm tempted to take this one, because uh, Egbert, so far, he seems like the coolest dude. And uh, he had, like, the best welcome. So we're weighing that in. We'll be on the river. We're very close to the beach. We're kind of isolated from all the hubbub and noise and ruckus of the metropolis or whatever nookopolis you want to call it. And so I think that's what we'll do is we'll just take this one. Uh, so, again, Egbert, obviously, right here behind us. So let's back out. Can we talk to him? It really is a gigantic purchase. So take your time to say, okay, well... Anyway, again, the color scheme's not great or anything like that, but hey, <clears throat> we'll just pop back out because apparently we have to in order to purchase this thing. But da Okay, so the light's not horrible. I like the light like second best of art. The candle, yeah, I wasn't a big fan of that. <clears throat> These are probably like 400 bell items we're talking about, but uh... So you really like it, yes? Are you all ready to buy? I'll buy it. Sell my soul to the devil. <laughs> Alright. Well then, that decides it. From now on, this is your house, Wisdom. Is that a victory tune I hear? Oh, yes. And think of that stereo inside as a moving-in gift from old Tom Nook. Couldn't sell it anyway. <laughs> what a jerk. It also has no music. So... So tell me, Wisdom, did you see the attic? Yes, I did. Whenever you're done playing in Lancelot's... Make sure you go to sleep in the bed in the attic. Then you'll be able to remember all the things you did that day, yes? If you forget to do that, it'll be like you never did anything that day at all. So that's our save feature. So please don't ever forget to do it a crucial detail. Now that's all I needed to say about the house, but I suppose you might have questions, yes? Do you want me to repeat it all in case you missed something? Oh, we got it. We got it. Yes, yes, you'll figure it out in time. Now we need to broach the delicate issue of payments, so, erm... Um, there's the land, the building, taxes, surcharges, various fees, and whatnot. So the total for the house is 19,000 bells. <clears throat> You're having a joke. Of course it's nothing to worry about so much. Tom Nook is no scary... Oh, really? You just pay it back in your own time. I'm glad we're putting him in his place early on. You've got to take a hardline approach with characters like Nook. But with that said, for money wisdom, why don't you come work part-time at my shop? You'll learn how to save as well, which will certainly be a tremendous help in your new life. Yeah. <clears throat> yep, those are the cold winds of change. I bet you're not used to hearing no a lot, are you, Nook? Look, I had no desire to say this, but listen, wisdom. You just got here, yes? And you have no credit in this town, yes? I have 1980, buddy. And I suggest you stop being selfish. I'll stop this playthrough right now. This will be the first and last episode. I have a totally new depreciation of Tom Nook after this. Uh, I suggest you stop being selfish and just give me a hand in the shop. It might even help you get to know the town and the folks in it a little better. I plan to sell pears, sir. <laughs> and fish. If you work for me, then I can rest assured you'll pay your loan off, Wisdom, you see? No one's saying you must work for free, get it? 
Very good, it's decided. I decided nothing, jerk. Well, I can't leave the shop unattended, so let's get down to brass tacks. You've decided on a fine house, so why don't you go introduce yourself to everyone in town? And make especially sure you introduce yourself to the mayor. The mayor should be in the town hall, so don't forget. In the meantime, I'll go get some work ready for you. Just come by the shop later, Weasel. You can take a look at your map to find I know where it is. I just go to the warm spot. You know, I'm gonna push you around. You get away from my house, you little raccoon. Little nocturnal piece of trash. Money monger. If I'd knock you off this bridge, I'd do it. How do you like to swim, coon? I think you're gonna be walking this way. I think you're gonna be walking this way. This is my bridge, Nook. My bridge. Welcome to the land of wisdom. There's a new boss in town, and it's not you. And you look like an idiot in that apron, by the way. Put some clothes on, you perverted coon. Okay, so we've got our house that we've conned Nook out of. I'm gonna take some pears in and sell them to him. <laughs> uh, that guy is a total jerk, man. I mean, like, we're new in town, and he's just all about himself. And then he says, we're selfish. Screw off, Nook. Wait, do the... F the f does fruit not stack in this game? What a travesty. That's nuts. <laughs> okay, well, whatever. Um, so who have we not introduced ourselves to? I think Victoria is the only one. We do know how to run now. You hold the B button. Uh, that's Egbert. He's cool, unlike Tom Nook. So I think... Victoria's place was over here. We've talked to Pico, Roscoe. Ah, Victoria's home. I think this is her place, right? Yes. Let's see what she's all about. Is she a horse, too? Might be. Ah, she is! Very cool! She's got the flower tables and chairs. Uh, what is that called? The stage? Something? She's got a trough? she got a pretty cool place here. Can we not adjust the camera angle? Yes, we can. It's got the kitschy clock. I'm not sure what that couch is. It might be from the, uh, I guess that's serious. She's pretty cool. Oh my gosh! <laughs> are you like that Weasel person? Yeah, the one that bosses Tom Nook around. You totally are that Weasel person. I knew it, Sugar Cube. There was a rumor going around that, like, someone new was coming to the Lancelots. Oh, I'm Victoria. It's sweet to meet you, Sugar Cube. I like Victoria. She's cool. Bye, Victoria. <clears throat> I've got to go work for the devil now. Come buy some stuff and I'll give you free things when he's got his back turned, which will probably be often. Oh, the cranny. Look at that. He's back in his beloved little shop. Well, I guess we'll run over here. They said we need to introduce ourselves to the mayor. So... It's just right here, right? Yes. If, if I can just get a shovel from the Nook Man, we'll have that house paid off in no time. Ah, so he's he's functional now. You whippersnapper, who are you? And while I'm asking questions, what is your favorite animal? Hmm, it's not a raccoon. I think I'll go with turtle. Oh, I like the cut of your jib. See, we get along with the mayor, so we've got that going for us. We've got the political side. Now we just need to work on the economics. And soon we will rule the world, or at least this town. I like the cut of your jib, young man. We'll get along just fine. I thought so, too. Yes, er, what were we talking about again? Ahem, uh, Mr. Mayor? That's our newest resident, Wisdom. What's that? Ah, come to think of it, I did hear something about that. Or did I? Who can remember? Not you. Any you who? I am the mayor of Lancelot, Tortimer. At any rate, I'll retire, and you'll take over my job in Animal Crossing New Leaf, which will be released on a new handheld known as the 3DS. Uh, you should come see me on holidays and other event days like you did Elizabeth, Isabel in the future. <laughs> I'll be waiting for you in the square in front of the town hall. Yes, waiting and watching. Keep your eyes on that Nook man, Tortimer. Alright, so let's go see what Nook is going to say. And by the way, I did walk into the Able Sisters. Apparently, we were clicking the door wrong or something. But uh, da -da. I wonder if you can fall in this game. You know what? Let's get some more pairs, actually. 
dun, 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 dun. That's a shame they don't stack. I guess that must have been a new feature for New Leaf. New Leaf, you can go, you know, nine at a time type of a thing. So. Where's Nook's Cranny? There it is. This. Look how there's like no vegetation around it. Everything keeps its distance and there's like this mysterious ring of trees and rock. Mm -hmm. I feel sorry, no one's gonna live here. One person's... <laughs> That's ridiculous. Hopefully we can get like a fishing pole and net and a shovel, or at least two of them. Your store sucks, Tom. You said hello to everyone, yes? Try to remember everyone's names and faces, that should help you adjust. So you're just about to start your exciting new part-time job, yes? First I want you to change into your work clothes. Strictly speaking, what I mean is the uniform for part-time workers. Let me know when you're done changing. How do you how do you change, Tom? <laughs> okay. I'd like to sell that. Oh, that's not a horrible. It looks way better than him. He looks like some failed dojo master from an online pedigree. So I've changed, but let's see. Of course, no shovel. Some bookshelf, classic clock, the spider webs. I love what you've done with the place, Tom. Uh, some carpet, some flowers, some paper. What's this? Automatic build machine. Point tracking system. Unable to retrieve, yes. Okay. This is like Legend of Zelda, we break these or something. Ah yes, that looks quite fitting on you. Now let's get to work. The first thing I want you to do is plant these flower seeds and tree sap. Oh! Well, now he doesn't seem this bad at this moment in time. I agree with that. Saplings and seeds, yes? Okay, <clears throat> well, let me see. I don't know what you're giving me, moron. <laughs> you know? If these would just... I don't know what you're giving me, so I'll assume that I do. What's the holdup? You must scurry home and drop off some stuff there. Hmm. So how much space do I need? You've not specified a number of slots that I need available, you idiot. It's like, I, you know, I'm the new guy in town, and it's like, can you fit this in your pockets? And I'm like, well, what is it? You dimwit. <laughs> Alright, so welcome to the official trash heap of Lancelot. This is where I deposit things. Drop. Drop it like it's a pear. So this is exciting. That means we've got to get uh, peaches and everything. I'm not putting my money down. I don't trust this fool. But why can't we put it away? Like, why, do, why does it not register up here? Oh, okay. Well, penny saved is a penny earned. I wonder what would happen if we came back in that shoot. <laughs> Like, he seriously did not specify how many open slots we need, and I bet he doesn't fill up our inventory. Although he might, who knows. This is gonna be a long episode, though. Okay, dimwit, we're back. Looks like you dropped some stuff. I need to give you the seeds and saplings. Please plant them around the outside of the shop. Will do. So make sure it looks really nice out there, and let me know when you're done. Hmm. We might go to bed before that, Tom. It's 10.20. <laughs> We've got a long day of doing nothing tomorrow. Alright, so let's see what the moron gave us. Oh, look, he would have really... That was totally necessary for us to drop everything. Yellow tulips, white pansy, sun cosmos. Thomas. Thomas. These flowers do not gel at all. Okay, so... Let's see here. Ooh. Plant. That's not where I wanted this. Well, it's not my place, so I don't really care. <laughs> okay, can we not put anything in front of us? Let's uh, back out of there. That looks horrible. Can you dictate where you plant? I mean, because that would be great. Hmm. Not quite sure how this will work. Okay, so does everything just go behind us? Because if that's the case, let's stand here. And red roses, because this is totally... What? <laughs> Why did they go there? Alright, so... Sure. Mm -hmm, that's... Mm -hmm. 
Why not? <laughs> Alright, I'll be cutting these trees down in a few days. Sucker. And let's put one here to kind of block its view for the townsfolks. And there we go. I'd prefer pear trees, Tom, but you're cheap and gave me saplings. Alright, so we made the place look fantastic. Let's get our money and run, shall we? Alright. <clears throat> you made it look nice and pretty out there, of course. Had some misgivings, but I guess I must try to trust your decorating, since you should. Time to put you to work like a real part-timer. Maybe you can deliver a few things. Furniture to Porsche. Okay. Customers wait eagerly for their goods to arrive, so try to deliver them. Where's where's our mailman? Pete, get back quickly, too. Don't just loaf about nibbling the grass on the side of the road. You know, if I could nibble grass on the side of the road, I'd do it. Also, I wonder if there's any mods made to the cursor in this game. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, so Portia, she is... Who did he say? Yes, Portia. So she's far away, you jerk. Or she give me some money. Alright. Um, there she is. Okay. So that little path. I want an axe so I can take this tree down because it's what's throwing me off. When we're down there, it like covers up the path here. It's a horrible position for me. Alright, so Portia, Portia, Portia. What's up, lady? Alright. Here for you. Confirm. Oh, you're delivering this to me? Thank you. Give me a present. I've been waiting for this. It's a gift for one of my many best friends. I'm glad I got it in time. So give me the dish on what's happening with you. You're working part-time? Yep. Must be more of a go-getter than I thought. That's good to know. Anyway, really appreciate your help, so please take this clawfoot tub. That's right, Tom Nook. Guess what's going to get dropped off? <laughs> really and truly, I want you to have it besides as a good manner to give a neighbor new gifts. Really nice, so I hope you find a wonderful place for it in your home. You're also talking to the right person when it comes to home design. If you stand next to a piece of furniture and press A, you can drag, push, or rotate it. Stand next to certain things and press A briefly to get an effect. Turning a radio on, opening a dresser. Try all sorts of things to make your room perfect. Sometimes that's all I do all day. And once you've got your home nice and tidy, I'll probably want to come see it. You're welcome. When is your birthday? Dun dun dun. It is in January, we'll say. And. Two. We'll just say that. Okay. Okay, sure. I see. Not that there was much point in asking, but who knows, maybe I'll send you a present. Well then, good luck with your part-time job. You just moved here, so try not to overdo it on work right away. Fantastic. Were those asking? No, that's not my birthday. <laughs> Alright, coming up. We're gonna drop off our clawfoot tub and return to work. So here's my little secret work place. Whoops. She gave it to me, not Tom Nook. <laughs> Alright. Oh! Oh, well. Whatever. Here we are. Going back into the Nook Man. I might have to split this into two parts. This is ridiculous. We're gonna have to, like, deliver something to everyone. What do you want now, idiot? You're back. And you made the delivery. Please announce fast for your first job. You get things done in a flash. Including killing raccoons. Let's move on. Next job I have, direct mail. Write and send a letter to my regular customer, Roscoe. Just a quick thank you for patronizing my store, and you notice that we're having a wonderful sale. Here, write it on this stationery. Hmm? You can send mail at the post office. Snap to it. Okay. Confirm. So, shift. D. Keyboard would be nice. Oh. Or a space key. Think. Y. U. O. U. Four. F. O. R. Y. Your. O. 
U. C O N T I N U. Continued. Support. Comma. There's the comma right there. G R E A T. Space. Friend. Period. Enter. Shift. P. Shift. S. Where's the colon right there? P.S. Oh. No, no, no. I thought B might be shift, and it's not. P.S. Big. Sale. Oops. Tomorrow. He did say tomorrow, right? I don't know if I have to honor it for this good friend. <laughs> Alright, so. P.S. Big sale tomorrow, and let's show some excitement. Boom. Enter. P. 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 S. S. W. Wisdom. S. E. Space. M. W. I. Wrote. O. D. E. This. D. H. I. S. Period. Enter. Shift. No. Sin. Seer. Lee. Comma. Enter. Caps. Tom. T. Space. M. M. O. M. N. E. Y. E. Y. Space. Nook. Done. O. O. K. Dear Roscoe, thank you for your continued support. They still didn't fix that. That's annoying. Uh, great friend. P.S. Big sale tomorrow. P.P.S. Weezum wrote this. Sincerely, Tom Money Nook from Weezum. Okay. So. Alright, it's there. Back out. Back out. Away we go. I'd like this to go up tomorrow, but it can't because I've got to wait for the content creator program. I also didn't, like... I think it would take this long, <laughs> you know. Um, so away we go. Sorry, Pico. Important mail for the Nook Man. Gotta get to the town hall to deliver this because we don't have a post office for some reason. Not that there's anything wrong with that. With thriving, bustling economy we've got. All right, get over here, Pelly. We've got mail. Oh, Phyllis. Now we want to. We message board. No, send the letter. Lancelot. Confirm. Okay, so we don't have to drag it anymore. That's cool. Fine, I'll take... Fada. <laughs> wow. Didn't fight it off. Fine, I'll take care of it. I always do. Tried really hard not to get, to get that muffled for you. Any more letters? Please say no. She's as enthusiastic as we are. Okay. She's a cold heart. She's a stereotypical postal worker, really. You know, yeah, every once in a while, yeah, that really nice lady, but most of the time, it's just like they hate the world. It's like, I didn't know Tom was the postmaster. Alright, so away we do. There's Pico. There's our secret stash of work stuff. <laughs> and we're back. You see that, Tom? But no one else gets this job done that fast. Acknowledge me when I walk in. Did you send it out? No, we didn't. Jeez. What? You go do it yourself, idiot. Really likes letters. Mm -hmm. Need you to deliver a carpet. Make this snappy. Right, because we were so slow. Right. My goal is to just get this recording done so I don't have to deal with you anymore. And to think, I kind of liked Tom Nook based on New Leaf and an Amiibo Festival. Alright, so where was Victoria? Ah. 
Maybe we'll detour to the beach. Scoot's house. Play some games with Egbert. <laughs> of course you're watching me, you lazy bummer. House is right outside your window. Yay, wisdom. How have you been, sugar cube? Mail call? Sorry, I can't talk. I work for Satan. Confirm. Alright. Huh? Oh, that's right, Weezum. You're doing a part-time job. Don't know everything that goes on when you work for Nook. But you've got spirit and moxie and all that stuff. Here, this is kind of old, but you can use it while you're still getting... Trying to get settled in. That carpet was like my favorite. She used it for so long, I would run over to Nook's shop every day, and when I finally found it, I like bald. So many kinds of carpet and wallpaper, finding the perfect one can take forever. Now you're trying to save money and stuff, but you should keep checking. Thank you. We appreciate it, Victoria. You're the number one female horse in the town in our hearts. That's for sure. Alright, so... Victoria and Roscoe, again, similar homes. Let's uh, ditch this over here. See what she gave us, actually. Alright. Charcoal tile. That's not horrible, actually. I think I use that in the kitchen in my new leaf town. Kitchen's really like the only room that's not like 100% stylistically accentuated or whatever. <laughs> you know. Alright, we're back, moron. Welcome back. Looks like you're starting to get the knack. Yeah. Keep up the good work, like what I see. Watering can to Roscoe. <clears throat> right. I don't have flowers, Tom. Okay, so if he could just give these to us, you know, all at once, that would be fantastic. You know, because we could be done. We could be done. We wouldn't have to talk to you anymore, Mom. Make sure that is its place. We'll go in. Didn't even water one of the many 20 flowers blooming in this town. <laughs> My new leaf town, man, like almost every square inch is covered. So I'm thinking he's like a cranky villager. I usually like him. Uh, here for you. Watering can. <sighs> yeah. Oh, I also got that letter. You were the one who wrote that, right? How did you know? <laughs> mm -hmm. Nice. Ad copy, pal. It really makes me want to buy things I can't afford. You've got the touch. I ran around and showed that letter to practically everyone in town. I liked it so much. I figured if you're going to go to the trouble of writing it, I can at least help you get the message out, right? We've got a saying here in town. You can't spell letter without let, er, and I'm see it. Folks around here love to get together and share whatever wacky letters they've gotten in the mail. There have been a couple of times I sent a silly letter to the public and I couldn't live it down. Just make sure you don't put... Don't write anything private or embarrassing, because it will get around town. Good to know. <laughs> like, that's what the world has come to, eh? Alright. There we go. Back to the junction, the cranny. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, your flowers fell apart, Tom. It's a shame I couldn't water them. Mm -hmm. Guess he can take care of that. We're back. Welcome back. Yes, yes. Bulletin board. I need you to write an ad for the shop on that very bulletin board. Snazzy. Okay. What is this place called? Nooking, nookling Cranny? <laughs> I could write some things about that. Granny? Cranny? Nook's Cranny. Excellent. Let's make it like all the kids will like. Just like he wanted, shall we? Alright, here we go. Bulletin board time. Alright. Yo! Yo! <laughs> Careful what you wish for, Tom. Yo, yo, yo! Shift. Shift. Literally shift. Nooks. Cranny is better. 
then... Whoops. Your... Shift for appreciation. Granny. Mm -hmm. Clever, clever. Yo, 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 Nook's Granny is better than your granny. We... Got... All... The... Merch. M-E-R-C-H. Dot, dot, dot. No, no, no. Dot, dot, dot. And... That should have all, all been caps. We... Are... The... Only... There's really the able sisters, but you know what I mean. Period. Oh, I can't fit anymore. Hmm. Give us. He said he wanted the kids to like it, so here we go with our phone slang. Give us your bells. This doesn't get us fired. Nothing will. Yo, 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 Nook's Cranny is better than your granny. We got all the merch, and we are the only store in T.O. Win. Give us your bills. <clears throat> Excellence. <laughs> all right, so, close. Thomas, we're done. Can we go home now? <laughs> the choice is yours, Coon Man. The choice is yours. All right, now, if he has problems with that, he's just not hip to the beat doesn't understand the rhythm of the street, you know what I mean. Alright. Ah, yes, welcome back. Did you write the message? Yes, yes, very good job. Indeed it was. So that means you're done. Yes, done. Those were all the odd jobs I had lying around. And since I don't have anything left for you to do, that means your part-time employment is over. Hmm? hmm, your home loan? Yes, yes. I'm going to need you to pay that back in its entirety. In your part-time work here thus far, you've made 1,400 bells. I already had that. That means you only need another... Oh, is that all? 18,400. There's no work left here, so I guess I have to find another way to pay off loan. Oh, I will. I don't know what to do with myself. Help people in town sell things you don't need or do any number of activities to make money. If you want to sell stuff, bring it here. I'll make sure you get a good price for it. One more thing, you can pay off your loan by wiring me money from the ABD... Automatic bill dispenser in town hall. And when it's all paid off, come see me about home renovations. Your house is a little small, but I can make it bigger and much more comfortable to live in. So we're a good look here in the shop and everything, and don't forget to do all your shopping right here. Okay, now, seriously, we had 1,400 bills. Oh, is he shut down? Woohoo! We don't ever... Hey, look, we kept the t-shirt. The uniform is ours, sucker. I'm all done with work. Now I'm free. Closed. Oh, it's open till 10. That's not too bad. Alright, so let's see here. We want to check my pockets. What? No, 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 no. Where did my money go? Well, he didn't give us a dime. I got that money from trees. What? What? Do he like give his in-store credit or something? What happens if we go in here? Is he gonna show up again? I want my money, Nook. You crook. Seriously? Where is my... I should have 2,800 bells, right? I want my money. <laughs> Oh, he didn't even show up. Ball must have gone to sleep. Okay, well, we don't have a shovel. We don't have anything. I mean, we can't break rocks. We can't dig fossils. Uh, I guess we're done for the day. So, um... I mean, you know what? Ooh, we can still do that. That's cool. Let's actually come here. I want to write a message. <laughs> After this masterpiece. Hmm? 
Nook. O's. Me. Shift. Money sign. 1400. Bills. Enter. He is a scummy crook. Pay up. Nook. January 6th, 2016. Nook owes me 1,400 bells. He is a scummy crook. Pay up, Nook. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Hmm, I think I'll... We'll leave that for a while. Now the whole town will know about you, Thomas. <clears throat> now it would be cool if we could go to bed and, like, make it daytime, because... Then I could do some stuff, right? Try to get, like, a fishing pole or something. Anyway, let's see if we can find our way back home. I think if we just trace the river here, we get to the bridge. Ooh, there's a uh, dung beetle, right? Yep. Don't have a net, though, so it means nothing. I like the bridge, though. Alright, here's our house. Let's go upstairs, go to bed. <laughs> and, uh, I was gonna sell back this uniform to the dork, but... We have anything? We left the clawfoot tub. Yeah, we got nothing. Alright, so... Up we go. Very hard to get up the stairs without going out the door. <laughs> Nunchuck. Not quite that precise. So. Um, here we go. Would you like to quit now? Absolutely. <laughs> Alright. So I might have to split this into two parts. I'm not sure, but... Uh, anyway, if you want to see more of this, let me know in the comments section uh, how you'd like to see it. If you'd like to see like an everyday type of a thing, or at least here for a while. If you want to see sort of like a weekly compilation of crud that went on through the week or something. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how to approach this one, but uh, I wish I could just record the... I could set up to record the 3DS, but the money you have to invest in that, it's really not worth it. <laughs> you know, Especially when the system should be on... Kind of, it's like last legs, I would think, and something new would come along that probably would have games that can't be played on the 3DS, which would make you feel really dumb for buying the setup to record from it. But uh, let me know. Let me know what you uh, thought of the series. If you'd like to see more, if you've enjoyed it thus far, uh, kind of if you have a format in mind or you want to see like a daily mashup or something along those lines. And keep in mind, with the content creator program, I basically have to record, edit, upload, submit it for approval, keep it unlisted during that day. It can't be private or they can't see it, so it has to be unlisted, and then when it's approved, then I can release it. So you'll never really see like that day, but case in point, this is Wednesday night, maybe by Friday or Saturday, it's approved and I can release it type of a deal. So it'll be sort of backlogged, not by my choice, but by the way it has to be, but... Uh, again, if you've got ideas, let me know and we'll try to make it happen. But uh, this took way longer than I thought it would. <laughs> and uh, it was fun, though. So, uh, And we're never going to have to work for that idiot again. So, uh, And if we quit, we will just never get his money back. So uh, stay tuned. Let me know your thoughts. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will hopefully be catching you back for more Animal Crossing City Folk.